Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey, what's up, Locker Gnome? This is R. Malieri here, and I'm back with another edition of our iOS Jailbreak series. This week, I'm going to be talking to you guys about Firmware Umbrella. Firmware Umbrella, um, blah, blah, blah. Firmware Umbrella is an application that lets you do a ton of things. Um, you can prevent the upgrade of your baseband on your iPhone um, so that you can um, keep it on a unlockable baseband. You can downgrade back to a previous iOS version. So if you're like me and if you've already jailbroken to 4.31 and some of your favorite apps are not compatible with it, you can go ahead and go back down uh, to a more stable version. Uh, so that's what I plan on doing with Umbrella. So I'm gonna give you guys a sneak peek. Uh, you can go ahead and check out the site right here. It's the firmwareumbrella.blogspot.com. That's where you go to get yourself a copy of it. Um, it it's uh, available for OS 10, Windows, and uh, tons of other cool things with, with this that you can do here. So head on over there and pick up your uh, OS version. And then what you wanna, you're want you going to want to do is plug in your iDevice, iPad, iPhone. In this case, I've got my iPad plugged in right now. And I'm going to go ahead and save the SHSH for my iPad. Um, for those of you who don't know what a SHSH is, it's a, a file that is associated with your iDevice uh, that talks to Apple servers. And if you have... Uh, the SHSH for the version of iOS that you're wanting to uh, install, you can use Firmware Umbrella and you know go back down to previous versions of iOS. In my case, I have something like 14 different SHSHs, so I can jump back and forth between whatever version of iOS I want. Tonight, I'm going to be going back to 4.21 because I need it for uh, a specific application, a jailbreak application that I use. So anyway, SHSH is something that you're going to want to save even if you don't want to jailbreak, you don't have to. As long as you save them, you have the ability to do so later uh, and also downgrade. So that's what we're going to do right now. So let's go ahead and launch uh, Firmware Umbrella and we'll see what we get. So I've got it loaded here in the background with my iPad connected. So I'm going to go ahead and launch it. And this is what the interface looks like. You can see that my iPad is connected right there on the left side and got a whole bunch of options. Umbrella is a really, really cool program. If you're ever stuck in recovery mode, you can try and get your iDevice out by pressing the enter um, and exit recovery right here, I should say. Um, and then uh, if you if you wanna block your baseband, so uh, if you don't know what a baseband is, the iPhone has two different pieces of software in it. One is a baseband software, the other one's the actual iOS. So um, certain baseband, which is essentially the modem on your iPhone, are unlockable using some uh, jailbreak software. Like right now it's Ultra Snow uh, from the dev team. I believe Muscle Nerd developed that one, but anyway, Ultra Snow only works with certain modem versions or baseband versions. So what you can do is if you're on 4. Point, uh, let's say 4.1 unlocked with that baseband and you want to upgrade to 4.31, you can use Tiny Umbrella, start the TSS server and essentially prevent the modem software from being updated when you update the actual iOS because they're two separate things. So that's what the TSS server does is it blocks the... Uh, the new firmware from being put over top of your unlockable firmware. So that's another feature uh, right here with Umbrella. So there, there's a lot to it. If you have questions, go ahead and hit me up and I'll try to answer your questions, but uh, that's what that does. And then the button on top of it that you see that says save SHSH, that's that little file we were talking about that if you have that uh, for each version of iOS, you can always go back to that version so you can downgrade. Now, the other thing I've heard is that once you use Umbrella, uh, you don't have to continue to plug into it. Once it saves your SHSH once for your iDevice, it will continue to go out and get that file for each new version of iOS. So, excuse me, that's something that's really cool. Well, let's go ahead and save mine for my iPad. I've got it all dialed in. You can see it here. It says it's connected, and I'll go ahead and save it. So check this out. Hit the button. It's starting to save. You can see it says it's starting to save. It's not eligible for the requested build. Um, so I'm on 4.3 and, and we've already passed that, but it, it can save the current uh, build, uh, which is 4.31. So it, it saved that for me and that's great. Uh, if, the, if the jailbreak comes out for iPad 2 and it's only good for 4.31 and um, you hadn't saved your SHSH and they'd upgrade it to 4.32, pretty much be SOL. But now that I have this, even if I upgrade to um, 4.32, I can always come back down to 4.31. So um, again, the reason why 
I couldn't get my 4.3 SHSH is because I didn't run Umbrella during the time that 4.3 was actually the version of the day. So that's the thing you're gonna always wanna be proactive and capture your SHSH files while you're on that version of iOS. So anyway, we just grabbed my SHSH, it was super easy. I've got them stored locally now so I can always use them to go back to that version of iOS whenever I want to. And again, remember, my iPad 2 is not jailbroken. You do not need to be jailbroken to use this program to save your SHSH file for future use. So uh, for those of you who are still on the fence, uh, this is kind of like in a, a type of insurance for you. So you can go ahead and save it and decide if you want to use it or not later. Anyway, again, this is Arm Alieri on behalf of LockerGnome.com doing our weekly iOS jailbreak series on Tiny Umbrella. If you guys have questions, go ahead and hit us up in the comments. I'll try and do a better job of answering. If you have more detailed comments, you can go ahead and message me up. You can follow me on Twitter at rmalieri, and you can check me out on my YouTube channel at youtube.com forward slash rmalieri. Thanks again for watching, guys, and until next time, we'll see you later.